Hello, Zion friends and family. I'm so glad you gathered here uh, for another day with us for our, one, our Sunday School lesson today. Um, today, we're going to go ahead like we always do. We're going to start out with our church calendar. So, boys and girls, can you all tell me what the three great times are? Do you guys remember? Okay. We got Christmas, Easter, and if you can see it, all the way down here, we got Pentecost. Those are our three great times. What are these blue days that we are in right now? Do you all remember? Those days are Advent. Those are the days that we get ready for this day right here. We get ready for Christmas. So we are right now, we are on the third Sunday in Advent. So exciting. Look how close we are to Christmas. All right. So then after Christmas, we go down here, we go to the green days. Do you remember what the green days are called? The green days are ordinary time. Then once we get past those green days, we go to these purple days. Do you all remember what these purple days are? Lent. These are the days that prepare us for all these days right here for Easter, right? Great job. That is our church calendar. Okay, I got kind of a mess going on here. Look what I got. So this morning, let's see if I get this down here. This morning, I am surrounded by a flock of sheep, all different kinds. I got stuffed animals. I got some that we made in Sunday school before, some wooden sheep. I'm surrounded by all kinds of sheep. I guess I may be a shepherd today instead of a Sunday school teacher. What do you think? So shepherds had an important job because they needed to take care of each sheep and make sure that they were fed and safe from danger. People looked down on shepherds because they thought shepherds were dirty and smelly because they took care of the sheep. Today, we still actually have jobs that people have that still make them smelly. But guess what? Their jobs are all important, aren't they? Just like the shepherds, this, just like the shepherds, their shepherd's jobs are important. Everybody's job is important. I'm going to put this down here, get this out of my way. All right. So, Um, let's see here. Oh, let's just get back to where I was going from. This reminds me of a very important story. It reminds me of a important group of shepherds. Would you like to find out more about these shepherds? I hope you said yes. So let's get started. First of all, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to move some of my sheep out of here so I can tell this story. Okay, we'll keep the big guy there. All right, so one evening, there was a group of shepherds. I only have two with me here today. They were settling in for the night to sleep. The sheep had been taken care of and were safe from danger. The shepherds were ready to go to sleep so they could be rested for the next day's work. Perhaps one of the shepherd would stay awake while the others sleep. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put one of these guys down. They're gonna be sleeping. Okay. So one of them needed to stay awake just in case anything might come after the sheep, right? We don't need them getting away. So as the shepherds lay on the ground, Looking up, looking up at the stars here, what do you think might have happened next? They're looking up at the beautiful stars shining in the night sky, and an angel from God came and stood in front of them. All right. This sight must have been probably very frightening for them. So all of them woke up and were looking right at the angel. 
the angel spoke and told them not to be afraid. He had come with a message from God. He said, I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people today. Today, your Savior was born in the town of David. He is Christ the Lord. He went on to tell them that God's son, Jesus, had been born in the town of Bethlehem. They would be able to find him in a little stable, wrapped in swaddling clothes and sleeping in a manger. After the angel gave the startled shepherds this message, all of a sudden, many angels appeared in the sky and they praised God. Let's see if I can do this here. I'm gonna grab a few more angels. They, they were praising God and saying, glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace to men on whom his favor rests. Imagine if the shepherds refused to work as shepherds because of others because others would look down on them these shepherds right here were were obedient to do the job god gave them to do they would have missed out on this amazing announcement from the angels because the angels had <laughs> i'm i goofed up on that okay so they would have missed out on this amazing announcement from angels had they refused to be shepherds. When God tells you and me to do something, we need to be obedient to him and not allow what other people think. Keep us from obeying God's call in our lives. We won't want to miss out on the amazing plan he has for our lives. When the angels left, do you think the shepherds said, Wow, that was an amazing message. Let's go to sleep now so we can be well rested for the, re for the next day. Do you think that's what they said? Mm, I don't think so. Let's find out. So let's open our Bibles up to Luke 2, 16 and see what they actually did. All right, Luke 2, 16 says, they went quickly and found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in the manger. Wow. So the shepherds immediately obeyed what they had heard from the angels and went to see God's son, who he had promised to send so long ago. All right. So. Get this out here. When the shepherds arrived to Bethlehem, when the shepherds arrived in Bethlehem, they found the little Lord Jesus as a baby. Get this all out. Is this an animal? Joseph and the baby. So they arrived at Bethlehem and then they found the stable. All right. So the shepherds told Mary and Joseph what had happened to them that night and how the angel told them they would find Jesus. They praised and worshiped God. So that was pretty exciting. All right, so as they left seeing the Lord Jesus and the baby, they, could, they couldn't keep the good news to themselves. They wanted to spread the good news so as they were walking along, get him out of here. As they were leaving Bethlehem, they wanted to shout out the good news to everybody. So we'll have all of our people here all scattered around. There we go. 
so I can hear them now. They were shouting, the Savior has been born. Come see, God has kept his promises. Emmanuel has been born. Now we can have our sins forgiven. Hallelujah. They couldn't keep this good news to themselves. What a happy story. So they went around and they told all the people that they met in Bethlehem that day to go see this wonderful family. To see the baby Jesus along with Mary and Joseph. Pretty exciting story, isn't it? It's pretty neat. All right, so we have our holy family and we have our shepherds. And this shepherds announce the good news to everyone. All right. Now I'm going to take all this away. And now it's time to get our advent candle up here. A lot of props today. Take all these props down so we have room for the candles. All right. Okay, here we go. So this pink candle here, this is the candle of the shepherds. There is something different about, about this candle, isn't there? It is the color of roses. This is to remind us of the great joy the angels sing, sang. It also helps us remember that even if it's a very serious to get ready to come close to a great mystery like Christmas, you can't be serious all of the time as you get ready. This is the Sunday when it's time for a little celebration. There is one more thing about the color of roses. It's another one of the colors for the Mother Mary. We remember her again, for without the Mother Mary, there would be no baby. Today, we light the first blue candle for the prophets. Maybe. There we go. The second blue candle we light for the Holy Family. And then our last candle is who we learned about today, the shepherds. We light this candle for the shepherds. So, the light reminds us of the good news. A Savior, the special Son of God, is born. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and change the lights. The light of the prophets. and the light of the Holy Family. And the light of the shepherds. Can be with us always in many ways and many places all through the year. All right, bow your heads with me and let's pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. See you next week.